Welcome, lovely people. I have hooked up my Switch to all of my recording stuff, and now we can have a look at the stuff going on on my Switch. Which I don't know if I should be that happy about because a lot of it is very laggy and kind of glitchy, but we're doing it anyway. This is where I have my anniversary furniture, sort of. So the last time that I was playing anniversary, I was playing with my friend. He was building a base and using the Kaluan stuff to make it look awesome. So everything that we found that was going to make his base look awesome, I sent across. So what I have in this space is leftovers. And there was a lot of leftovers. And so in this space, it's got some things that aren't left over, but they're not the Kaluan stuff. I've got a cultic and Kaluan kind of combining in here to make this base work. This is a Brainiac base because I thought that's the one that it would suit the most. And this is my fire villain. I know, right? Fire, what a surprise. But <laughs> let's go and have a look and see what you think because it is actually quite possible to create not bad looking bases with leftovers, especially if you have a lot of them. So here we go. I mean, obviously some of it is not Kaluan, <laughs> but a good chunk of it is. So I had a lot of these. I'm attaching them inside of, um, or rather up against I don't think those clip through, this one does, but some things don't clip through the walls or the pillars and you just have to put it right up against, but some things went straight through and I could line them up really nice to make it look like it's actually part of the base, which is what I was going for here. And I made it so that both of these pillars match. I know, right? Best thing to show you, pillars. Well done me. <laughs> Hello Lex. And you can see I've also got an occultic table here. You will notice quite a lot of occult tables and beds and things because I was just sending the leftovers to this character of everything occult. So you can see I've run the wires across the back wall there, which I really like. And a lot of these containers are everywhere as well. It's, it's basically just, I had so much, I had to make it all fit. And I did, like I did make it all fit. So you can see I've got these on the side here. I found it really complicated when I was putting these in because what they're, they look very similar to another one that is huge by comparison and they're not called large and small. It's called like monolith and pillar, I don't know. They're called things that would not naturally make you think that they are so vastly different in size. In fact, let's see if I can find what they are called because it has been so long since I had a look. Oh, here we go, conduits large. At least they let us know that those are large. There we've got container, digitizer, Kaluan generator, kiosk, mainframe, monitor, monolith, obelisk. See how similar they look? Unless you've got them right next to each other, you wouldn't realize one is much bigger than the other there. And that goes for these as well. Oh, there's pillar. No, we've got, that's not huge. We've got those on the pillars there. There's one, the column and the spire, look! They look so similar. Unless you're looking at both at the same time, you wouldn't realize one is massive and one is tiny. Or they're actually both quite big. <laughs> one is big and one is massive. So I had a little bit of fun with that. It, it was annoying. It was annoying because I couldn't keep track of which was which. Why did I speed up? I actually am not used to playing the Switch on a screen. And the controller that I have has these buttons at the back that um, I keep accidentally pressing. So I'm going to try not to do that, but this controller was given to me my, by my brother and it's awesome because it means that I can play on my Switch without using the Joy-Cons and I can just leave the Joy-Cons in my Switch, but I keep pressing buttons. So I'm going to try not to and it's also, I'm used to the weight of the Xbox and PlayStation controllers. This is so light. I feel like I'm gonna break it. <laughs> oh, you can see I put, oh yeah, I put all the purple in here. I love the purple. It's actually the original reason I was going to dump all of the excess in here, I've got to stop pressing it, is because she was purple, of course. I thought, all right, I'll put all the purple in there with her. And um, it ended up just being everything Kaluan went in here. So I like it. I've got, I, I, it's very symmetrical, I will say. Anything I had two of, I kind of made it so that they're on both sides. And I think we've all seen this before. This is what I did with the beds. <laughs> Tried to make it look like a bed head. And yes, obviously I have some posters and things that aren't leftovers. They are from other things. Those two I purchased because the wall was looking very bare and I had some currency. So why not? She's a villain. She has purple. It made sense to me. So 
you can see, oh, that also is not Kaluan, but a lot, a lot of this is. And I, I really love how everything from Kaluan looks in Brainiac. It looks like, almost, like it's meant to be there. And because I've put so much, I think it is very cohesive and looks correct. But as I said, it is leftovers. So I have a lot of leftover occult beds and dining tables as well that I just collected and put in here. So I, I apologize. It might get a little repetitive as we run through. Look at that, another bed. Who would have thought that? Oh, and another. Okay, yes, I know. There's a lot. But I want. I was originally making her um, base occult. And then the Kaluan came up and I was like, you know what? I can make those work together. And they do. They just work together over and over and over again. So <laughs> hopefully that's not too bad. All right, let's go through here. Just ignore the dining tables. Okay, I didn't realize how much there is. There's a lot. All right, do you see this? This is actually massive. It is down here. And it is pinging, clipping, going through the floor, right up into the staircase, because I had to, I placed everything. I don't have anything extra. So it worked out, <laughs> but I'm really proud of this. This looks cool to me. I don't know if, if everyone's going to agree, but I love how they're so big and bright and flashing and how they all fit around the base. I need to climb up. This is really hard to see up so close. Can we see it this way? I don't know. I've got to stop sprinting. Why have I got that pressed down? It is such a habit, I think. There we go. I really like this. I think it looks really good. <laughs> and imposing. And it is as symmetrical as I could get it. I realize it's not perfect. Some things I could not get quite perfect, but it's the best that I could do because some of them wouldn't hit the right section on the pillar. As soon as it hit the pillar, it would turn red. So I had to get it, you know, close enough. But I'm really happy with it. I think it looks great. And also that is clipping up through the floor. So if we go back up here, you can kind of see some of it was here, but I, um, I hid it <laughs> with more pillars and bits and pieces that I don't know the names of, but they're all Kaluan. And I did it with this pillar as well. I think it's funny. The thing I'm most proud of is the pillars. <laughs> Trying to get them to clip into the right spot so that they look symmetrical and look like they're part of the building took a little bit of fiddliness especially on switch because when you try to move furniture on the switch it's slightly more sensitive or at least it seems so to me than it is on xbox and on playstation and small you have to do very small movements to get it correct mind you now that i have a controller in my hand maybe it would be easier but when i was doing it on the joy cons on the small screen oh it took it took a little bit of effort <laughs> but i did get used to it so I've also got things up on the walls and the ceiling. I really love the wires. At the start, I was like, there are so many of these, but they really go in this base quite well. I'm really happy with them. And they are everywhere. Because I had so many. <laughs> All right, let's jump back downstairs since I already kind of went there already because I got excited. It happens. I've got, oh yeah, the wires that are going through the floor. I was really happy that some things can clip through the floor. And that was one of them. I love it. Look at that. It looks so good. Ah, okay. I didn't like the Kaluan stuff as much as this when I first was doing this, but they grew on me as I started to get more and more leftovers. I was like, this is working. This is looking good. <laughs> so I kind of love them now. And I've got some more holograms in here. Yay. I just thought they suited her base because she's got the purple uh, from the Kaluan. And then I added in the Joker and um, Cersei on the wall and that input some green. So I ended up putting the holograms into this space as well. Uh, it works. I, I like them. <laughs> and it looks very techy in here, which I also quite like because most of my Brainiac bases don't look very techy. So I really like this one. But you can kind of see anything that I got, I just kind of stuck in wherever I thought it would fit. And it, I don't know. I kind of like it. You can also see I have not done my armory builds yet. I have two. Battle and tank. So that's obviously this is my battle build. And here is my tank. And she looks awesome. And if you disagree. <laughs> but um, yeah, I haven't done her other two builds yet because I play mainly hero on here. Um, 
I say that, but she's like level 412. So I've clearly played her quite a bit. But yeah, I, I haven't done other builds for her because most of the time if I end up in groups where I need to like do my battle tank or swap to a boss damage build, um, I'm on hero. I've, I've never had that happen on this one. So I, I'll get there. I have a lot of characters on here, like a lot. So <laughs> she, she is one of my favorites, but she's not my most played at all, especially not for villain. I think my most played villain is mental. And I love her too. And she is also purple because purple is the best. I'm going to stop talking about my builds and we'll just keep looking at the base. That's why we're here. We're looking at a base. So, yes. I, I tried really hard to make sure these would end up in corners because I liked the way they framed the rest of the room every time I did. Even when I use them as a bird head, they tend to be in a corner. They just work better that way. They stick out less inside the room as well. So it kind of gives you more space because when you put them up against a flat wall, they stick two prongs out, which you've seen. You would have seen if you watch my free to play, which is from scratch, no cash, um, because I have done that with it because I did not have a corner to put it in. I just put it up against a flat wall. <laughs> right. Yeah. I also think that the technology for the Brainiac base that they put on all of the amenities, um, kind of goes with the Kaluan with in regard to color the shape is obviously different they're quite square and the Kaluan has a lot of round and curves but the colors go together quite well I think I know that it's kind of an orange and the yellow but I don't know they suit each other it looks like it was made to go in here to me now that I've put this much in here I'm I'm quite happy with it um and I'm really happy with it because I use leftovers See, that is what I need to get I need to get that for my Woman of Super on PlayStation. <sighs> so many things I have to do twice, three times, four times, because of the five times. Am I on five servers? I am on five different servers. There's ones I play more than the others. <laughs> but obviously Switch uh, US is my main place I've played and I have a lot on here. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. I'm going to swap back to battle because I prefer purple. I, I do love the other build, but the purple is nice. And I really like what's coming off her back. The tendrils, very cool. Anyway, <laughs> let's go up here. And you can see why I was originally going with a cult for her, because I had a lot of occult stuff. And I didn't know what to do with it. And I didn't want it to go to waste. So I just collected it all on here. So we've got, this is her bed. This is the first place where I combined the um, mainframe and the bed. <laughs> because I thought it looked cool. And then I was like, I'm doing that everywhere now. Everywhere, and I do. <laughs> and then we've got, of course, occult furniture, piano. I tried to, because I have the um, base items for the mana in here, and I did not want the black piano, but I did want a piano, because I play piano. So um, the black one I didn't think would suit this at all, so I was really happy to grab the upright one, because it's the same color as all the occultic stuff. <laughs> And then, yeah, I have extra beds because apparently for some reason we all sleep in the same room when guests come over because the rest of the base is for um, world domination. That's what I'm going with. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I don't know. I just thought I would show you guys because we are currently doing anniversary and I did want to show you. You can, even with what's just left over, it depends. I will say. I played over a large number of characters. I think at the time it was like 12 every single day um, with my friend continuously doing anniversary to collect as much furniture for him as we could. So the leftovers are numerous for me. I understand most people don't do that. And that's 12 characters for me and 12 that he was playing. So 24 characters every single day. He was taking what he wanted and I was taking the leftovers. So it's a lot. It is a lot, but you can use whatever you get and make it work. You can make it work. I didn't delete anything or sell anything. I collected all of it and I placed all of it. And it's awesome. I, I really like it. And I wasn't expecting to. So, yeah, okay. I hope at the very least, for people who aren't sure what to do with Kaluan, that this gives you some ideas. You don't need to even have a Brainiac base. I just really like it. I understand that, you know, that's a luxury. I'm able to buy some things for my game. Some people cannot or do not, and that's fine. But you can do this in other bases that come standard, especially because the standard bases that come have the pillars. You can put things in those pillars and make them look kick-ass. At least that's what I think they look like. It's fun.
fun. I must admit, I do wish for the front here that I had two more of this one and not two of these, but I'm okay with it. And the reason I put them on this side, even though this is where you would enter and see it first, is because they stand out this way further and it looked wrong here. It made it feel like this space was really cramped and this space is wider, so it doesn't do it here. So, eh. <laughs> I'm happy with this. I, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing and I hope if you were wondering what to do with your Kaluan items that you collect from doing anniversary, this has given you some idea. I, I realize this is a little excessive, but I'm stuck with it now. <laughs> okay. Bye guys.